Let's move the pod along, respectfully. Live on Broadway podcast. I know y'all love Live on Broadway podcast, but stay tuned, sis. We about to get into the next segment. How he say that shit? Clip! Pool! Y'all know the vibe. Live on Broadway Podcast. Make sure y'all get in tune and follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and SoundCloud. And make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on... Also, get into my grand while you there. I am underscore Broadway and Live on Broadway Podcast. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so look, man. A lot of heavy pouring... Listen, man, if you on Instagram, make sure you hit the button. I'm going to bring you up. We got D. Marie joining us. Shout out to I Love Trillion. Shout out, shout out to everybody pulling up on Instagram, right? Shout out to everybody on Clubhouse. Make sure you tap in. And um, we about to have a whole conversation because it's about to get a little spicy. We're going to shake it up a little bit, you know. Uh, but, you know, let, let's unpack some shit. You know, this is what New York sounds like, unfortunately. <laughs> exactly what it sounds like, right? Um, shout out to my guy DWI. Let's talk about it. Which is harder to do? Staying in a relationship or leaving a relationship? Let's unpack this shit. Keep that same energy. Ah. Vanna, you got the mic in your hand like you ready to go, baby. Because. What's, up? What's harder to do, staying in a relationship or leaving a relationship? Staying. That's the topic of discussion in every Staying is the shop. hardest thing because mama is a rolling stone. My daddy was a motherfucking rolling stone. He was a PIMP, okay? <laughs> he was pushing P. He took my mama for everything she motherfucking had. She bought him a car. That white woman was tricking on that man. Okay, and you know what? I she I had a conversation with her recently, and she was like, you know, I was telling her like, oh, you know, like yada yada yada. I got a different boyfriend for every bill, and she was like, you get that shit from your father, mm. like because he had me paying all the bills. I said, why the fuck was you paying his bills? Mm. And she was like, oh, cause you know, I thought you know when he got money, he would hold me down. I said, why the fuck would you think that? Mm. Are you dumb? Mm. Are you? Did I lie? Are you dumb? Did I lie? No, let me stop. But no, for real, for real, like, the hardest thing is staying for me because I have avoidant attachment uh, style, and, like, I know even if a Are motherfucker... Are you dumb? Exactly. Even if a motherfucker don't do shit to me, I'll low-key sabotage it. You know what I mean? I like, if, if it's real, because I still got the same hoes for years, but it's like... And when I say hoes, I'm not disrespecting them. I love them. They mm -hmm. all serve different purposes. And, you know, I put them all in position. And I'm grateful to every single one of the people that fuck with me. Um, you know, and I treat them with respect. But you know what I mean? It's just, it's harder to stay. Okay. 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 D. Marie, I see you on Instagram, Queen. How, how you feel about this? Uh, if you guys are on Instagram and want to be brought up, just hit the button. Tap it with me, D. Marie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. Leaving. Leaving is hard because sometimes you get comfortable. And sometimes the person that you fell for might be their representative. It might be good for a minute. And they might show you a good time. They might show you some good things. But sometimes they might fuck up. Mm. And you still believe in the good in them. And it's hard to leave because it's like you want them to change. You know, you hope and, you know. You might say, oh, it's a little dry, so, you know, everybody has to fuck up in a relationship. Should it get better? But then when it's years invested and shit don't change and you yeah. keep hoping and then it gets different when you got kids. You understand what I'm saying? I got three kids by a person who did dirt. You know what I'm saying? So after a while, you got to say, you know what? This is not healthy for me. It ain't healthy for my children. This is not what I want my kids to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you want I want my kids to know better. I want my kids to know what commitment is. I want my kids to see real love, happiness. Not, you know, this one stepping out on this one and mommy's tolerating it. I never want my kids to feel like they gotta tolerate somebody cheating on them or being yeah. different. Or yeah. letting the son be too home. So for me, sometimes leaving might be hard because it's like you really invest the time and love in that person. But after a while when they start showing you who they really are, you gotta just take it on a top and just dip for your own safety and sanity. Yeah. We we joint by thank you for that. Thank you for that, D Marie. Appreciate you. You're welcome. Queen. Um shout out I'm we, got, we got my guy um, Memphis <laughs> on here from um Chicago. My guy Memphis. 
And uh, I want to tap in with you, King. In a relationship, what's harder to do, staying or leaving, beloved, before I come to Clubhouse? I agree, I agree with the young ladies, you know what I mean, Sam? Because the leaving part, once you create feelings, <clears throat> and once you have a connection with somebody, you don't want to, I ain't gonna say let them down, you don't want to, you don't want to leave with a failed relationship. Nobody wants to leave with a failed relationship. So it's like, <clears throat> you try to do your best to make that shit work. But making that shit work is if you're doing it by yourself, it, it it's no it's no way it can work. So it's just like it's harder to leave a relationship because the simple fact is you want to do everything in your power to make sure you wasn't the one that made it crash. You know what I mean? No, I feel you. I feel you. It's just no, no, and, and, and absolutely right. Nobody goes into a relationship wanting to fail, every, the outcome is always to succeed, right? Uh, uh, th there's, yeah. some, th there's some women, some female um, camaraderie going on in here. We're going to get back in a, about wine. Um, and, and, and get about back wine. to this. But um, Sean, tap in with me as a, as a, as a, as a married, hold on, Clubhouse, shout out to my guy, Sean. You know my guy, Brook, Brooklyn Sean. You know, uh, being, in a, you, being a married man, uh, how is it to you, King? Do you feel like it's easiest? It's easier or harder to leave a relationship. Yeah, what's up, bro? What's up, <laughs> Yo, I'm watching dishes right now. Nah, but um, you what's your this question? Is, Sorry, my bad, man. This is why this is why you a kept nigga. You heard respectfully. You heard? Um, what's easier? Yeah, yeah. What's what's easier or harder to do? Leaving or staying? Um, what's easier to do? Um, leaving or staying? Um, if you ain't got the answer, Sway, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, shit, I ain't trying to stay. I mean, I ain't trying to leave, bro. So at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm all in, baby. I don't start nothing like that without, you know what I mean? I'm good, baby. I'm all good. I got you. I'm all good, man. Sorry, man. I'm going to come back to you in a minute. I, I'm going to get back to you in a minute, man. I'm sorry, nah, that's, man. That's cool, King. Yeah. Just, 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 yeah. Make sure, just make sure you dry the dishes that you are washing. You know, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, let, let, let yeah. me tap in, Queen Benoit. Benoit, how you feeling, Queen? How you feeling? I'm well, I'm well, Namdi. Thank you. I appreciate that respect. Uh, how, how, what's harder? What's harder? Staying or leaving a relationship? For me, leaving is more difficult because I usually invest a lot in relationships. And so no one wants to invest and help a person build to a certain level just to leave it all. On some level, you feel cheated and slighted and a little resentful, too. Okay, okay, I'm here for that. I'm, I'm here. Oh, wait, who's clearing their throat? Who got something to say? No, that was me. All right, cool. Um, let me tap in with Latoya. Toya, you've been a silent assassin, queen. How, how, how you feel? Uh, what's easier, what's harder, staying or leaving? I think staying would be harder because it can mess with you mentally and who knows um, what else it can actually do to you. <laughs> because like me personally, like if I'm sitting with someone and I've been putting the time in six, seven years or whatever, even, even two or three years. At the end of the day, it's like, you wasted my time. I could have been out there finding my true blessing. And mm. then I invested myself in my heart and giving you, cause when I put myself into something, I go all in. Cause that's the way I was taught. So I'm paying all this into you and you're taking it for granted. I feel unappreciated. And as you know, been a, been a while said, I have yeah. a little resentment against you. So yeah, at the end of the day, Mm. Yeah, staying would be harder for me. Like, I got to go because I'm not putting my time into this and if it's not appreciated, mm -mm. let me find somebody that's going to appreciate me. So, 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 pretty much, you got two words and it ain't happy birthday. It's I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, I won't even say I'm gone. I'll just show you the do sign. Peace. Boy, can I get, can I get a little context? And I'm sure. listening to her, her response and I'm just trying to understand are you saying, just staying in a relationship or leaving a relationship or staying in a good relationship or a bad relationship? Because I think she answered it in a way of, of like, 
answering it like she like she was given the option to stay or leave a, a bad situation, but I don't think that's what you're asking, right? If I'm if I'm correct, is it harder to stay or leave a relationship? That's all you're asking, right? Right. Okay. So right. so, so go ahead, Latoya. No, no, I was saying, and for me to stay in a bad relationship, that's the harder thing to do because it's gonna mess with me mentally. Okay. I okay. Now. Go. Okay. But you added the bad in there, though. But that, but that's how I wanted to make sure that's what 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 we're well, talking well, about. Well, so well, 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 well. See, I wouldn't leave a good relationship. Hold on, hold, but hold on, hold on, right? Because, and that's a very. I'm, I'm happy that D did that, right? Because D understands the assignment, right? More often than not, we interpret things to be what we want them to be and not what's actually being axed, right? Let me put some respect on my shit. Right? Because the question is, is it harder to stay or leave a relationship, right? And sometimes I think a lot of you guys are answering by way of somebody did you wrong. Hence the reason why you're hurt and you're leaving. But the question is indeed, what's harder to do? Because let's just put it out there. Sometimes pe people leave good relationships every day, B. Every day, people leave good relationships it. because they are because they Boy. look at things and they be like, oh, they got eight, it, they got twenty. But that twenty looks real tantalizing. You know, that, that twenty look 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 real look real good on the outside looking. I've been with this nigga for seven years. He ain't proposed. Hold on, greener. I've been with this right. I've been with this nigga for seven years. This chick for seven years. He ain't proposed. She don't wash and dry dishes. You know, um, um, it's all different type of things going on out there. And you may meet the new chick that's at the bar, nibble on your fucking ear. You hear me? And you might, you might, you might perceive that shit to be. <laughs> You might perceive it to be 20%. Oh. You hear that 20, you might perceive to be 80, and that 80, you might start kicking back to look at it as 20. But in all actuality, sure. that 80, that woman is that that woman is 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 um watching your kids and, and being an amazing mom while you're going out right. there seeking out your dreams. The Lawrence and e and Issa situation are insecure, right? right? Uh, and, and Lawrence was Lawrence, in my opinion, was 80. But because he fell on hard times, Issa started looking at him as 20. But the reality of it is, is when she started, everything after him, she started, uh, Lawrence was the longest lasting relationship. Once shit went outside of Lawrence, she started being for the streets. She started getting her whole knock loose. And I'm just saying the 80 20 thing where sometimes oh, okay. things oh, okay. that seems like it's. 80%, it really be 20. But anyway, um, so great, great, great. Yeah. I'm happy you did that, D. All right, so let me just, so now I took up enough time trying to figure that out. So for me, I for my stats, my stats would show, if you go to the Google report of DWI and relationships, it is much easier for me to leave than it is to stay. Um, however, I don't leave on bad terms, so no. that's probably the reason why in my mind that I always <laughs> feel like, well, if this thing ain't working out and it's, it's if it's not 100%, and I'm like, the happiest man in the world, which I think I'm capable of being, and I would love to feel that way. Once I start feeling like I'm selling myself short of what I can actually get, I'm gone. Like, and Hold it's on, cool D. Because, mm -hmm. um, 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 Tracy is giving cap, 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 cap. Tracy is giving you cap. Um, hey, Tracy. Captain, Captain Crunch. <laughs> how long? How long have I been in relationships? Just kidding. Tracy, I'm, jo how long? I'm joking. Oh, I'm about to uh, say. They're, they're, you, got, you got the Carfax on DWI. You know I exactly. I do have the Carfax. She got the Carfax. That, that, Shout out to the Carfax. I'm, that's why I'm she the like first, that. She's the first phone call. It may be harder for you to call. leave. It may be harder for you to leave. I think, no, I I, in, in all fairness. I don't I don't stay in no. Not oh, the God. Carfax. Not the, the not the Carfax. Carfax. I, I got the full Carfax, baby. So 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 tap in with me. Tap in with me, um, Tracy. What's easier or harder to do? Staying or leaving? Baby, she's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> I was waiting to say that. I was waiting for my moment. All right. <laughs> I was waiting for my moment, baby. I was waiting for my moment, baby. I was waiting. All right, so. I, I see the signs. I pay attention to the red flags. Like before all this red flag shit became popular on Instagram and social media, I was looking for those red flags. And the second I saw them, baby, I'm out. And I know that's right. I am out. There were some situations that I fucked up and it was just like, hmm, maybe I should have left three months ago. But it is only a few months. 
but no, I'm out. That part. I'm out. That part. Mm-hmm. Quickly, swiftly, mm-hmm. expeditiously. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Ruby. What What is harder for you? Uh, it's harder for me to stay. I'm yeah. I'm easy to go. Yep. Um, I remember dating a guy, and it was really good. It was cool. Um, and then we went out to dinner one time. No, actually, we had dinner at his house uh, one time. And I think we had, like, probably chicken and salad. And if I was blind, I would have thought we was eating fucking soup. Like, he was slurping. Oh, you couldn't take that. I cannot stand that. I'm out. I thought he was watching one of my videos real quick. I said, oh, are you in my photo album? Yo, that's all I heard was. Yeah. I said, Ruby! I can't. Never again. I can't. But I bye. can't. He's a, he's a cool guy, this. but there's no way in the world. My what? kids is not even going to let you be at our dinner table eating like that because the Davis quadruplets, like, they're going to be like, ah, oh, we need headphones, miss, or he got to go. Like, we're going to super glue his lips together because he chewed, he, he, was, he was chewing crazy. Another good relationship I was in, he was good, was guy, did dishes, all this good stuff. He couldn't fucking read. And I didn't find that. I found it bad, but I know that, you know, certain people um, grow up different. So I took it upon myself, you know, when he, I feel like he trusted me enough to to, to confide in me. I knew he couldn't read any fucking way because the way he was texting me, I knew he couldn't read. But <laughs> I had to figure this shit out. But I was willing to help him. Say it again, start but over. he wasn't willing to learn how to read. And if you were not willing to learn how to read, I can't get jiggy with you because I'm in the process of starting a business. And if, God forbid, I break my finger and I need you to type up a letter for our employees, I need our mm-hmm. employees to be able to read this fucking letter. You know what I'm saying? I need to be. I need them to be able to read the schedule. I need them to know what business they working for. And that was someone I couldn't depend on. So he wasn't willing to work on his reading skills. So I had to let him go. So it is hard for me wow. to stay. It is hard for me to uh, to stay. I'm out. All right. So, so you know what? Like I get what she's saying. Mm-hmm. I get what she's saying because I was with somebody for six years. Okay. And things were good. Okay. They moved in with me, you know, to keep, you know, how they part of the weight around the house. It wasn't until one day, once the pandemic hit, and we went out and got stuff for the house, and we was on the elevator coming upstairs, and he goes, I hope you know you unlocked the entitlement day. And I have to give him this look like, fuck you mean entitlement? Like, listen. I know what I do for a living. You understand what I'm saying? I do. I have my seafood catering business. I have a lipstick line. But what you're not going to tell me is that you have this entitlement issue. We don't do that around here. It's either you're going to pull your weight or you're going to be on your goddamn way. Mm. So then okay. and I was collecting my key and I sent that ass packing back to the A. Okay. Sent his ass packing to the A. Shout out to Sasseries. We appreciate the the, the badges. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, Miss Henny, Miss Henny, um, I'm coming to you, Queen. Yes. How do you feel? What's easier? What's harder? Staying or leaving? When a woman's fed up, let me tell you something real quick. All right? I'm always going to choose the distance before the disrespect. That's distance one thing. before the disrespect. Ooh, I'm always am. Fireball. Let me tell you. Some of these people are in these relationships because they trying to make it seem like just because y'all stayed for these amount of years and this was and this was wrong with some women. They're scared to start over. They're scared to well, start over. No. They no. feel like your time is up Mm-mm. for some women. For some okay. women. Okay. I'm not staying in a relationship where it's toxic, where it's emotionally, mentally draining me, where I feel like I just want to stay in bed all the time. Where I feel like like I don't have anything in me left. I'm yeah. not staying in a relationship like that. I'm leaving. Once you break my non-negotiables, that's it. So that's, it's done for. So, I'm so, leaving. So let, let let me let me ask a well. It's a loose question, right? Because it's to everyone, not just you, Miss Henny. And and I feel and I'm picking up on what you're putting down, right? Just to be clear on that, right? Sometimes 
sometimes people be worth it though, right? And they just need certain things like, because let's just be clear, right? And I said this to my guy the other day, the longer you're, the, the longer you're, with, the longer you're single, the more problematic you are, in my opinion. The longer you're single, the longer you're more problematic because you have a certain idea of what it is that you want, certain things that you're not willing to, 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 to compromise against, and you like, and it's like, it's my way or the highway, right? Where if you've been single for about, if I met a woman and she was single like for five plus years, I'm four plus years, I'm nervous. I'm nervous on, e on even entering too many dates with you because I, I might start liking you and respectfully, you might have some shit that you don't want to let go of. And it's just because we just, and including myself, just because we've been doing things for a certain amount of time and we've been moving in a certain way don't mean that it's right. Don't mean that we've been getting the best results. You get what I'm saying? Right. It just means that we've been doing shit our way and that's just is what the fuck it is. You know, I believe that if you're in a relationship with somebody, uh, the best thing to do is identify their highs and their lows and, and, and forge them and wait and look at them across from each other and say, do this person genuinely make me happy? Do they speak to my love language? And in the black community, especially, we're very easy to leave situations based off of what outsiders the grass on, is greener. What outsiders are talking about. Because you're not in this fucking relationship. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So if if, if I outsource too much information, right. they might be giving because at the end of the day, respectfully, my people are my people, your people are your people. And it tends to, they're gonna go with the narrative that that the, that that, ori that that origin that um that originated that relationship. You know what I mean? Right. So I, I, right. I'll, I'll I'll park there. Yeah. So also with that, also with what you said, they're gonna caveat off of that. Social media is not your fucking diary. So therefore, if you don't want put people in your if you don't want people in your business, stop putting your business out there for people to be in yep. your business. That's the main thing. What you, what you and your man got going on, what you and your woman got going on between you and your woman, you and your man, it's not for everybody else. Everybody relationship dynamic is different. You have to do what's best for you. Now, with that being said, I'm all for, listen, relationship is not going to be easy. It's not always going to be bubbles and skittles, okay? It's not always going to be that. It's going to be tough times. But the main thing is about accountability. If you're telling somebody what is wrong and you're not listening to that person and you're not willing to understand where that person is coming from and you're not willing to work on the things that that need to be done, then there's no need to continue in that relationship. If I'm telling you this is how you're hurting me, if I'm telling you this is making me, this is mentally and emotionally hurting me. And you're not even willing to try. Yeah. I mean, try. Because yeah. you can't change a person overnight. People don't understand yeah. that. A person's not going to change overnight. But if you're telling me that you can't do this, if you're not willing well, see, to take that chances, then I can't be with you. Because I'm willing. It's okay that it's going to take some time. It's about the work. I'm, will, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's about you the work. you tell me, hey, babe, I need a month or two or whatever, whatever, but I'm willing to try. It's about the work. Okay, babe, I can work with that. So, 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 Miss Henny, what you saying is, is what you saying is, is you, you speaking, you speaking to me, right? Because that work is very important, right? If somebody, Always. if somebody is, is, is not in it, and then if somebody is in it and they're not doing the work, then you're not holding yourself accountable and acknowledging exactly. your areas of opportunity. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely rolling with. Because that. in my last relationship, my last relationship, I was not perfect. I wasn't. But you know what? He, he told me, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And he was blunt about it. And I asked him, mm -hmm. what are the problems, what are some things that I can do, what I can do to make the relationship better? You have to ask yourself those tough questions because you're not, what you think is enough, it's not going to be enough in somebody else's eye. What you think is like, like, okay, this is what I'm doing, this is enough for the relationship, it's not going to be that person enough. Your hundred percent is not Period. probably that person's hundred percent. So you have to communicate yeah. that. You have to tell that person what wait, can wait, I wait, do wait. Well, to on, better on, the relationship. Wait, wait. Hold on, Miss Henny. Where are you from? 
I'm from Chicago. Yo, Memphis. Oh, What's Chicago. happening, Memphis? Yo, 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 Memphis. <laughs> what, what? Baby, what? M Maybe because Memphis. once hold on, we hold communicate on, Miss Henny, that, Miss Henny, hold on, Miss Henny, Miss Henny, hold on. We got Memphis right. He on Instagram, right? He from Chicago too. Yo, Memphis. I mean, um, um, Miss Henny, I want you to go to Instagram so I can pull you up on live because I, I want to see all this hot shit that you popping. I want to make sure that it's valid. Go to my Instagram. Go, go to my Instagram. I, I am underscore Broadway. I'm gonna bring you up because um, we we gotta draw a picture. We gotta know who who committed the crime. Face to this voice. You know what I mean? <laughs> because uh, Memphis, tap in with me though, Memphis. How how you feel about this, King? <clears throat> Yo, I I totally agree with Shorty. Uh, and shout out to the shot. You know what it is. You know. You already know what time uh, it is. I'm posting them. Nah, but uh, it's just it's basically like this. Just let me piggyback on what you said about like talking to friends. There's no way you should talk to friends about your business because the simple fact is you're not telling both sides of the story. So. My friends gonna get my narrative, your friends gonna get your narrative, mm -hmm. and then it's always the mm -hmm. truth. It's three, it's three sides to the story. So my thing is, mm -hmm. you shouldn't talk to people about your shit. You know me, Baby, you've been around me fuck, more, than yeah. more than enough, my dude. Uh, yeah. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I don't care. If you're not in my relationship, you have no words for my shit. You can be like, oh, I think you should, or uh, maybe you should do this, but as far as you speaking on how I should move and like this ain't right or, or taking somebody's side when you don't know the story, my mother don't even get in my business. Right. Like real talk. Right. Right. So it's just like this. We, we, right. we, Period. What we're missing, what we're missing is this. The, com so, the communication level has dropped for relationships and period between men and women. We don't communicate anymore. We don't listen to Keep each other. Keep that we, same we, energy. We talk to each other mm -hmm. to react instead okay. of talking to each other to listen. to listen. So, so, so wait, so wait. All right. So there, there's this dude, right? He from Detroit, right? And we all we all consumed some of his videos, right? And his name is um, um, Detroit Dusk, right? Where he gives us these these. He shows you how to protect yourself. When people are coming at you, he tell you, hey, do this and do that. And like he wears, he, he always has the airpiece. And y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Um, Detroit Dust. Oh, you're talking and, about the, the protector of. Yeah, the yeah, he tell you how to defend yourself, so forth and so on, right? So oh. y'all know what I'm talking about, right? All right, cool. So the reason why I'm saying this is because often we know the right thing to do. But when that shit is happening, very few and far in between implement yeah, that karate, right. that training, that, that what you saying, what everybody is saying, what Miss Henny, you Memphis, what everybody in this room is saying right now is right and exact. But when it's up, we're reactive. We're, we're reactive. reactive. We start Instantly. feeding the animals. Yeah. We start feeding the animals or we start feeding the animal inside of us. True. You hear what I'm saying? But that's, but that's when now we're going to counseling. You know, I've been to counseling and everything, there, and I, I I commend anybody that that's thinking about it. You should, because it you gives you ways to pause. It gives you way because now you're you're no longer in that reactive stage. Right. You have reason to pause and be like, look, okay, feelings are valid. Let me hear you out. Let me hear what you got to say. Let me see what you're mad about. Mm. And we got to look at you. You, you got to understand and be able to put yourself in the person who's mad shoes and not think about why you mad because when you look at it from their point of view then it's like i understand so gotcha. being right. going to counseling allowed me to be able to take a pause when yeah. i needed to or when i when we need to you know what i mean yeah very very well said very well said we're gonna close on um on, on um tracy tap in with me tracy no i mean it was just a quick comment it's really mature to be able to put yourself on timeout mm. in the moment and be like, okay, no, 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 I need a timeout right now. Or, or, or we need a timeout. Let's sit and think about what we're saying. Let, let's stop this right now. Right. Put yourself on timeout. That is the most mature thing mature that we thing can to do. do. In, in relationships right now, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, we're going to keep pinging some people, you know, we're going to share it to the hallway on Instagram. We only got five shares. I need y'all to share it up and run it up on, on, um, on Clubhouse. And, uh, let's, 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 hold on. Let, let, let me see who this, uh, I, I, I got you. 
I got you, Miss Henny. I'm going to bring you up. We're going to talk about this next topic live on Broadway Podcast. I know how we do and how we give it up around these parts, respectfully. You are tapped in with Live on Broadway Podcast. Shout out to all the giants that's live on Instagram right now and currently on the Clubhouse stage. We would love to hear your relationship-based questions. DM us at Live on Broadway Podcast or back channel Broadway at I am underscore Broadway on Clubhouse to become a guest moderator and or join Broadway's live. Stay tuned for this next topic, because listen, it's about to get spicy. I know that's right, girl.